This is the 12th of September, 2023, for Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. And uh, this is a neat red sports car. And under the hood, what this sports car has is a 40 pound bag of coconuts from the Dominican Republic. Now well, here's the Vincent Pilot plant in operation. That is, we've got a shredder and we have a screw presses, and another screw press, and here is our coconut shelling operation. We're getting these coconut shells ready to, uh, uh, thank goodness we don't have to make a living shelling coconuts. Okay, we've got a stopwatch here, and here's our uh, nut, two tails. We're going to pull them in. Okay. I think we're about ready to go. Um, one right after the other. And you got a stopwatch? Go ahead. Uh, if you want to, yeah. How many seconds was that? 17 and three quarters. Okay, 18 seconds, and we ran a, almost 20 pounds through in 18 seconds. And you've seen the real McCoy. Okay, we used the largest screen we had handy for this uh, shredder, uh, which is one and a quarter uh, square round holes. Um, and the uh, pieces. Hey, they're pretty uniform, and I don't see a lot of fines. Uh, maybe. But they're definitely um, going to burn better. We were running a 15-horsepower uh, motor here uh, at uh, 1,800 RPM. It's a four-pole motor. And I wouldn't speed it up any more than what we saw. Looking at the underside of the machine here, you can, uh, there's the screen, and you can see the blades, those rectangular bars about uh, two inches wide, now that's the tip of the blade from the uh, hammer of the rotor, and so that's the construction under this machine. This gives you an idea of the construction of the shredder. This is an 18-inch uh, machine we tore it down today, but you can see what that looks like. It has a uh, expansion bearing at this end, so the shaft can move if it overheats, and a non-expansion bearing here because this is connected is where our Dodge coupling connects into the electric motor of the machine. Out here in the yard, uh, one of our two, this is the least crowded yard if you can believe that. Uh, we have uh, the housing for an 18 inch shredder, same construction as the 12 inch you just saw earlier operating. And you can see where the motor is mounted, a uh, coupling guard gets mounted on there. And there's where uh, uh, the rotor goes and the pillow block bearings are supported.